Well, we seem to have earned some lightness on this show, and with us to do that is Sharon Geller with her high five segment and maybe a review or two. Sharon, welcome. Hi, how are you? All good. Hey, Sharon. Great. Hey, Bob, how are you today? We need high five. Let's start with that. I think you do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one, a highway patrolman pulled alongside a speeding car on the highway. When he looked at the blonde behind the wheel, he was shocked to see that she was knitting. The policeman put his window down, he turned up his bullhorn, and he shouted, pull over. And the blonde shouted back, no, it's a scarf. <laughs> Idiot. All right, number two. <laughs> what are the three words a woman never wants to hear when she's making love? Honey, I'm home. <laughs> hey, I thought Henny Youngman was dead. Number three. Uh, did you hear about the midget fortune teller who escaped from jail? The newspaper headline read, Small, Medium, at Large. (laughs) All right, number four. Two blondes were going to Disneyland. They were driving down the interstate when they saw a sign that said, Disneyland, left. They started crying, turned around, and went home. (laughs) All right, and number five. Hey, stop moaning, Bob. I heard that. Number five. If Tarzan and Jane were Jewish, what would Cheetah be? A fur coat. Oh, no. <laughs> Sharon, let me just mention, uh, we're going to we're gonna ride you out to uh, the end of the show, but let me just mention that tomorrow we have a pretty big guest coming on, John Derbyshire, who's going to be, who's the author of the very controversial piece, The Talk Non-Black Version. You can read that at tackymag.com, T-A-K-I-M-A-G.com, if you want to prepare for tomorrow's show, or and you can look him up at johnderbyshire.com. We also have, speaking of theater, uh, Carly Robinson, who's from Cherry Hill, She's going to be starring as Penny in Harrisburg, just out of college. She's a local Philly area actress, but this is in Chicago. Anyhow, back to you, Sharon. Uh, I want to hear what you have to say about the movie Footnote. Footnote. Okay, so this is an interesting movie. I was really looking forward to seeing this. It's an Israeli movie. It's in Hebrew with English subtitles. It was a box office hit in Israel. It's a tragic comedy story of a power struggle between a father and a son who are both Jewish scholars in the Talmud department at Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And it stars Eliezer Skolnick. Uh, I mean, Eliezer Skolnick is a character uh, played by Shlomo Bar Abba. What's interesting is Shlomo Bar Abba is known in Israel as the Israeli Robin Williams. And it was a really interesting choice because this guy is, does a lot of big stage comedy. And this character was a, kind of like a high-functioning autistic character, a very frustrated Talmudic scholar. Um, his son, Uriel, was played by the Israeli actor Lior Ashkenazi. And the difference between them is Lior is very, his character is very charismatic, and he writes very popular books, and he has a gift of schmooze. And the father, played by Shlomo Bar Abba, is a real introvert. Um, it was a very interesting story. It, it won Israel's version of Oscar for Best Picture, and it won for Best Screenplay at the Cannes Film Festival. It was Israel's contender in the foreign language category at the Academy of Awards, which we know now went to the Iranian film, A Separation. I was so looking forward to seeing this. I can't tell you how much. And what I have to say about it is that the storyline was great. The acting was great. This really suffered from not being edited well enough. And it's, it's a not, big problem. It, it really was too long. In fact, I wanted to make sure it wasn't just me, so I stopped people coming out just to say, what did you think of it? What did you think of it? And five people I stopped said they thought the acting was great, the storyline was great. But you know what? It was too long. It just didn't move along. So it's interesting that it won all of these prizes. I'm glad it did. It's a, it's a good story. But, uh, Adam, one of the most interesting things is the idea behind the story is that the uh, father-son are kind of in a uh, contest for the Israel Prize, which is the highest honor that the country bestows for work in, chem- in biochemistry and research. And uh, they get a call, the father gets a call that he won the prize, but in truth, the son has won the prize. So well, there's a mistaken identity thing, and this all stemmed from the director. The same thing happened to him and his father. So it was a very interesting story, and, and I'm glad to have seen it, but again, it should have moved along. Yeah, and you know what, Sharon? You gave a great review to the outgoing Tide at Philadelphia Theater Company, and yeah. while I liked it somewhat, I felt the same way about that. It was too long. Anyhow, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Bob Gazzardi, for co-hosting. Thank you, Tim Halloran, for a great job with technical production.